video is brought to you by G2A.com for cheap games, MSP and PSN codes. And powered by Elgato Gaming. Hey guys, how's it going? Masterbox here and welcome to another 2025 Premo video and today we're going to be looking at another one of the up and coming players from football and boy howdy, this guy is a great pickup. It is Gaia. Yep, this guy turns out to be another one of the brilliant pickups to get for your back four of your career mode teams. I'm telling you, Gaia has been absolutely superb. In FIFA 15, he started as a 71 overall rated player. In FIFA 16, he starts as an 80 rated player. He was definitely going about it the right way last season. My goodness, 80 rated and he has got some insane stats including the defending obviously dribbling passing and the pace is there as well and once again of course the man is spanish from valencia what is it about valencia they keep on pumping out these insane left backs i don't know who their defensive line coach is but he's doing a top-notch job despite the fact that he's got some very fierce competition as to who the best pickup at left back is in career mode guys like alba kurzawa and a bunch of others as well we are still going to look at him he's got of course the pace it is right there very nicely well-rounded physical attributes and now we move into the skill attributes Good defensive, good defensive stats, of course. Marking, the passings there as well as the dribbling, which is pretty good. Some of the other stats, like finishing, shooting, maybe could be a little bit better, but that's not too critical. Five foot seven, 20 years of age as well, still very young. High attacking work rate, three-star weak foot there as well. Looking terrific. Specialities and traits, he doesn't have any of them, but the stats he has and the rating he has and the potential he has are almost all he needs. Currently an in-game potential of 87 for Jose Gaia right there. I believe that's Jose Gaia. Still, we're going to pretend we're just going to continue on. In his first season. Unfortunately, not going up by anything in his overall physical attributes. He's gone up by a little bit, improving the pace, the agility, the stamina, the balance, and all that stuff. It's great to see. Unfortunately, the technical attributes and the mental, at least from what FIFA are telling us, not indicating any growth there. Okay, first season, maybe no growth to his overall, but let's see how it all goes on a little later. We're now into the second season. How about this time round? Will we be able to get a little bit of growth to his overall? One plus one plus two plus two. That's what we're going to get. And once again, it's been role reversal this time. No growth to his physical attributes, but the mental and the technical this time, it's their turn. They start going up by those individual stats. Maybe not some of the more critical stats for a defender. I mean, the stand tackle and the slide tackle going up, things like crossing and the dribbling could have been improved a bit better as well. But still, we're getting growth and a two plus overall increase that is exactly what we're that's exactly what we're trying to get out of him. And now for the third and final season before we go all the way to 2025. Gaia, what's his rating now? It's still plus one, and this time all technical attributes. No physical, no mental, at least that's what FIFA are indicating. It's all technical. And literally every single technical attribute has gone up by at least one or two. That's great to see. The stats are certainly coming along. I'm loving his passing, his defending stats, as well as his crossing and some other the drib the dribbling could probably the ball control and dribbling is maybe coming along a bit better. Physical attributes all there. There. He's definitely turning into a solid player at 83 rated at 23 years of age. But I guess all we've got to do now is even though those stats in that overall are pretty good for his overall and for his age, let's find out what his rating is in 2025. And so here we are, 2025, and this guy is certainly looking like a pretty good pickup in career mode, but this is the moment that we find out if he's just a good pickup or if he's a great pickup. Jose Gaia in 2025. 88 rated, just one over his in-game potential, and that was the highest that he got to as well. No, only 30 years of age as well. At 88 rated, let's go through some of those stats, and they have, and he has an absolute bunch of beauties in there. The crossing, 95, stand tackle, 96, and his slide tackle, 98. The highest he could possibly get to, marking it 91 as well. The physical attributes maybe hasn't really gone up as much as what you would have thought compared to his third season where we left him last, but still, oh my goodness. Maybe not as well-rounded a player as David Alba, say, at the left-back position, but, I mean, seriously, you cannot doubt that this guy is an insane pickup. Another great pickup to play to get at left-back. If you've already got Alba, maybe you're trying for something different. Jose Gaia, he could be your man. But thank you guys so much for watching this one. My name is Masterbox. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave in the comments who you want me to do next for the 2025 Career Mode Series. And until then, my name is Masterbox, and have a good one. Bye-bye.